Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to the Legends of Breath of the Wild. Last time, we learned a secret code after getting to Gruda Town, so let's quickly use that. That voice, I recognize you from earlier. If you get a password wrong, you have to wait until the next day to try again. It's just a basic security. It's just basic security. We can't let any suspicious characters in here, which is fair. So we can't do that at the moment, even though we know the code. So. Instead of that, let's just head up this way to the palace. We can probably just go in. I don't know if there's anyone here that needs to be talked to. What is it, ma'am? As you can see, I'm busy gathering information. Ma'am, don't tell me you don't know who I am. No way, you've never heard of Rumor Mill either? This is Tracy, by the way, the person who does the Rumor Mill books that we've just that have been left around. I've heard of it. Phew, thank goodness. If you told me you'd never heard of Hyrule's most popular news publication, Rumor Mill, well, I don't even know how I'd have taken that news. It kinda would hurt. Would hurt, that's for sure. I'm Tracy herself, you know. Hey now, get that uh, wishy-washy garbage out of here, once more, with conviction. Ah. Truth is, I'm Tracy herself, from Rumor Mill. <laughs> I suppose that works. Anyway, I hope you enjoy re reading Rumor Mill. I take pride in my work. Oh my goodness. Yet another traveler. How did you get in here? Oh. Seems you have something rather interesting there. Oh. You stand before Lady Riju, Chief of the Gerudo. Declare your business, but come no closer. Hold on, Balera. Blara. This one appears to be more than a common traveler. You there. What is your name? Oh. Link. And what is it you've come all the way to here to tell me, Link? I can calm the Boris. Oh. You think you have what it takes to subdue something so powerful as a divine beast? The only ones who could ever control them were champions like Lady Obersa. And all of the champions died in the Calamity a hundred years ago. Hmm. Blara, a memory just jumped into my head. Something my mother spoke of. When the Calamity happened, the Prince of Princess of Hyrule placed a fallen swordsman into a deep sleep. That swordsman... Much like our new friend here was named Link, though it always seemed more a legend than fact. But Lady Riju, do those same stories not also say that the Hylian champion carried a legendary sword? I see no such weapon in this person's care. They do indeed. If I recall correctly, it was called the Sword That Seals the Darkness. The Princess of Hyrule supposedly hid it away in the middle of a deep forest. Mm. What uh, of the device on his on this one's hip? It appears to be a precious relic of the Sheikah. I can't imagine they would give something so valuable to a simple drifter, can you? Mm. I don't remember ever hearing of a Hylian Vi among the champions. Oh? Wait a moment, you're a Vo. A vow within our walls is a great crime, but a vow who is a champion? Well, we'd never mistreat a friend of Lady Obosa. And if you're here to help with us, help us with Naboris, then we are we are allies. Mm. You saw it on your way to town to our town. Divine beast Far Naboris, cloaked in a massive sandstorm, hurling lightning at any who dare approach. We have to do something to stop it. 
but we have yet to find any way to appease the Divine Beast on our own. If you truly are a champion, perhaps you will be able to enter Naboris and claim its or calm its anger. Lady Riju, I don't see how you can trust a complete stranger with something as important as this task. Perhaps if this person were first to prove his worth by recovering your stolen Thunderhelm. Hmm. Ah yes, an interesting suggestion. You see, there is only one thing in all of Hyrule that can withstand the lightning from Noboris. The Thunderhelm. A family heirloom and relic of the Gerudo, but as Bellera, I'm not sure if I'm getting that right, name right, says it was stolen from us. You needn't worry, Lady Riju. If she, if he truly is a champion, this should be an easy task for him. Oh. Our soldiers can tell you are you all you need to know about the thieves who stole Lady uh, Riju's heirloom. Head through this arch, it will lead you to the barracks. Then, seek out Captain... Take... Take... And ask for a full report. Without my heirloom, you'll never be able to approach Naboris. <laughs> Heh, you know. I take heart in having such a rare visitor as yourself. Lady Obosa must be looking out for us. So there we go, a bit of a information dump. Let's find out what we need to know. Also, there's a thing over here. A golden bow. We've already seen one of those, apparently. What are you doing in here? This is the barracks for the Chief's Guards, not a place for tourists to gather. We're on high alert after the recent theft. So you should clear out. What? Bellara sent you. My apologies. I am the officer in charge of the soldiers. Captain... Oh my goodness. Take. The chief's heirloom was stolen by thieves belonging to the Yiga clan. The other day... So everyone is on edge. No. We've determined that the Yiga, Yiga's hideout is in Karusa Valley, but the soldiers are all exhausted, so I was th just thinking about requesting some extra help. Oh. Hey everyone, listen up. This Hanin Vi has agreed to help us, so offer her any information you can. Oh. Consider yourself a part of our unit. If you have any questions, my troops will be happy to help. Also, I believe we can take pictures of weapons and items that other characters are wielding. I don't know if I can get the sword, though, but I might actually have already taken a picture of the sword. Yeah, I have. But that's an interesting thing we can do. Can I take a picture of this? Gerudo Spear. It's such an interesting thing to do. Anyway, let's talk to a few of you. Hey, I haven't seen Barta. Where has she gone off to? She said she was going to scout the thieves' hideout, but then she left before we could say anything. Now that I think about it, she's been gone for two days. I wonder what ha what happened to her. You? Are you serious? Why did you let her go that by herself? And why did you wait two days to report this? I'm... I apologize. She said she was just wanted to check it out and would be careful, so I thought. Ah, uh, as I, as if I were, as if we aren't busy enough searching for the chief's heirloom, now we have to find Barter too. Uh. If the captain hears about this fiasco, she'll punish us for sure. Probably a hundred laps around Grudo Desert again. Ooh. Oh, oh no, what should we do? <laughs> I'm thinking about it. Okay, cool, so uh... Where am I going? Huh, huh. Bobby's training is really tough, but it's our fault. The thieves were successful. We have no room to complain. As you can see, we're in the middle of spear training. 
takes permission or no, I would ask that you not inf interfere. Yep. Those thieves sure have guts sh scheming against us. Like that. We'd never have lost it in a fair fight. But this training, it's so tough. So it doesn't... I don't know if it's actually told me where I'm supposed to go. Well, I guess it did. We, yeah, it says to go to Carissa Valley, which is where we need to go. I also want to get the tower here, though. So, there's a few things I want to do. So, let's actually head outside, I think, and see what we can do. I guess we could go to the shrine in the sandstorm. But I also need... Ah, uh, I don't know. Well, I... Th I don't know. I really just don't know. I think I need to go through that sandstorm over there. So, let's go over here. Album is full. Let's delete... Everything. I think this is a new weapon, right? Yeah, Traveler's Claymore. Let's take a picture of that. It's quite interesting that the statue is wielding it. Can I actually get that, please? Or take... Oh, I've already seen that before. I just haven't taken a picture of it. That works for me. Now, which way did the sword point? I'm lost already. Okay, so... That way? I think. I don't know. I think I'm supposed to follow the sword. Can you tell I haven't done this for a while? Oh. Hello. Don't know what you're doing in the ground. But I do see this chest over here that I can pop out. Oh, and that one there as well. No, that's not a chest. That's... Ow! I knocked a rock. Of course. I wonder if that's a different type of Octorok. Oh, it is. No, yes, maybe. Treasure Octorok. I don't think you can actually get the treasure from it, though. Also, the... The, the Lizalfos lost me. Grudo Spear. This spear's center of gravity is in its tip, making it a bit unwieldy for the advanced average fighter. But in the hands of a skilled Gerudo warrior, it's a weapon of reliable strength. I don't have enough space in my inventory. I'm gonna throw something away, probably. Guess I'll get rid of the boomerang. There we go. Oh, where'd he, where'd he go? Over there, he's just gonna shock everything. Oh my goodness, get back here. Might also want to eat, possibly. Oh my goodness, get him. Oh, please. Oh, come on. I can do this. It's just a... a electric Lizalfos. Oh my goodness, where's my camera going? All over the place, apparently. Oh, I probably need to take a picture of Electrix Lizalfos. It's a good thing that there's probably plenty. If I had to guess. That's an actual chest there. Let's grab this. Five shock arrows. Another thing here. I wonder if I can actually just grab it. Like that. <laughs> That's funny. I can just pull it out. Anyway, I think I need to follow this statue properly now. Just a little bit. I also need to figure out where I'm actually going. Am I actually supposed to be here? Maybe? Oh, well, there's an electric Lizalfos. Grab that. Thank you. There seems to be quite a few 
small outpost for enemies around the place. Okay, those are actually strong, so I need to be careful. Take that. Oh my goodness. Damaging each other. I'm okay with this. Oh, there goes that. Just gonna keep stabbing. Apparently I whistled accidentally. This is what happens when you're using a D-pad and not buttons. Take that. How is he still alive? There we go. Let's grab all of this. Now this Gerudo um, outfit thing that I'm wearing right now is good during the day. But I think at night it gets too cold to wear, so I have to actually do something about that. You only get the extra heat resistant as a set bonus as well. So you have to wear the full outfit to be one level of heat resistance. Oh my goodness, there's another statue behind these things I didn't see before, which is good because that means I'm going the right direction. Light scale trident broke. I don't want to do that, please. I want to do this. There we go. Very nice. Probably don't need that. Okay. I think this is what I was supposed to be following, so let's just keep following it. I could be wrong. Where am I in comparison to everything else? Going in an interesting direction, actually. Oh, we're in the sandstorm. And you can tell because the map is now absolutely broken. This is the thing about the sandstorms, and this is why you want to mark things that you can see when you're not inside of the sandstorm that are going to be inside the sandstorm. So am I meant to follow that statue down there, or am I supposed to keep following forward? That's the problem, is it could be both. <laughs> Let me go over to this statue and follow it. Okay, so... Let me just take a second. Hang on. Oh my goodness, this is not good. Let me just follow the sword. And hopefully, I won't have to worry about these enemies too much. Although they are chasing after me. Okay, there's a lot of giant bone things around here. I don't think you get moved around if you get lost in the the dust storm thing. But I believe you do. Just you just can't see where you're going. Is it all anything? Looks like there's something here, maybe? Let's go up this way. Get some of this a rush room since I still need some more of that. Okay, let's see what's up here. Is there an enemy before? But it looks like I'm alright now. They might not be able to see me in this storm. How did that miss every single time? Oh, I can't see. Camera, why did you do that? Freezing enemies just seems slightly overpowered, but it's okay. They probably don't mind that much. I'm stabbing them anyway. Why would they complain? Oh, it's also cold now, so I'm going to put on that. Which looks a bit weird with this outfit, but that's okay. For ease of manipulation, I'm just going to keep it that way. Let's also drop that, I think. Grab this. Oh. That's not good. Oh, there's a blood moon as well. This is a bad time to be fighting enemies. So which way was I supposed to be going? To follow the... Oh my goodness, there's no map at all. Here. Right here. Cool. Good. I'm glad that this is working out so well. This is also kind of like a reference to Ocarina of Time. When you go 
through the Gerudo Desert and you have to follow the flags. Okay, is that a new type of thing? I think that's a new type of thing. Warm Saflina. I'm just gonna grab that and then keep going this direction. Warm Saflina! This me me oh my goodness. Medicinal plant grows in hot regions, such as the Gerudo Desert. It's warm to the touch and increases your cold resistance when cooked into a dish. Good to know. Where am I? I don't know. That's right, I forgot. Well, I think I've made it to where I was meant to be going, somewhat. If where I was going was a shrine. So let's head in here. A delayed puzzle. So... What am I doing here? Am I just stopping it in midair? Or am I doing something like that? Yeah, I'm doing that. Okay, cool. That works. Bring that down. Now I think I need to put this over by the switch over here. And then is that it? <laughs> Apparently, I can get to the end. I imagine there's still a chest in here to get somewhere. But where? The thing is still going. But where? Over here, okay. So I need to get the orb in there. Seems easy enough. Oh, and the store still stays open. Cool. Just gonna drop that in there. And grab that. Cool. Easy. So easy. Moonlight Scimitar. Pretty sure we've seen one of those before. Oh, is this is the storm gone? Seems like it is. Now let me. Oh, there's also a statue up there. So I guess there are multiple statues leading to the same place, which I guess is cool. Is there anything up here? Did the blood moon happen already? I guess maybe. I don't know. On top of things is usually where you get secret stuff. Is even that over there? So many things just pointing here. I don't know what I'm looking for right now, but I think I need to head in this direction, since that's where the tower is. Oh, and there's a sand seal there. So if I get close to it, maybe, since it looks wild. Are you really just going to leave me? Do I need to go slower? This is a different plant. Electric softly now. Probably can imagine what that does. This macid... Macidal... Macid... Macinal... Medicinal... Plant grows abundantly in the Gruda Desert. It particularly... Uh, fibers, its particular fibers conduct electricity, which makes, which will increase your electricity resistant, resistance when cooked into a dish. Okay, let me, I really want this to work. Can I like, no, can't go absolutely insane. Go slow, just go slow. Very slow, look at the the sound waves. The stealth waves. 
So close. So close. Stop moving away. It won't stay around once we've let go of it as well. What if I can... Oh my goodness. Oh my... Mm. This game. Also, we can use stasis on enemies now, but it doesn't last for very long. I'm so mad that that just happened. I'm trying to do a thing, and the game just gives me an enemy. Because why not give you more enemies? There's already tons and tons of enemies. Have more. Okay, and if we get close enough to a sand seal... Please. No. Really? And it's going further away. It's looking at me. Going further away. This is why I never use sand seals from the wild. This is so annoying. Let me just do this quickly. Stealth. Stealth. Oh, it's too cold now. Great. Let's go. Let's do this though. We have two bars of stealth out of three. Now there's birds there that are gonna get scared. What is this game? Please. I beg you. I just want. This game. I just want the sand seal. I just want the sand seal. I just want the sand seal. I have a shield. I have everything I need. Do I need to stand up? Nope, grab. Okay, we've got a sand seal. Let's turn. And let's dash. Oh my goodness, that was a lot of work for one sand seal. As you can see, it's very useful for traveling through the desert quickly. It would just be nice if it wasn't that insanely difficult to get one sand seal. And just like that, we've basically made it already to where we needed to be. Oh my goodness. And it's a shame it's gonna last such a short time because it's so useful. Oh, but it's definitely saving me a lot of time just walking all the way through here. Got some statues around the place and also some other stuff up there. Oh, don't hit the boulders. This is fine. I don't think I've ever gone up this path before. I usually just climb over things to get to where I need to go. Oh my goodness, more stuff. This is fine. I'm surprised how long this pathway is though. It's kind of impressive. But anyway, it looks like we're at the end of our journey with the sand seal. It's gonna leave now probably. But now, we've almost made it to where we're going. To try and retrieve the, the Thunder Helm for the Gerudo. It's got a lot of frog statues <laughs> for some reason. Which I think we've seen a frog statue before at the ancient tech lab. Oh hey. Get used to seeing these guys because this is their base, basically. Oh, also I think this is a different... No, it's a Yig it's still a Yigafoot soldier. I'm just used to them being 
just they're separate because of them being an archer instead of a swordsman. Okay, well let's grab all of that. They also had a different type of bow that I've not seen before. A duplex bow. Duplex bow. A bow favoured by the skilled archers of the Yuga clan. It's been engineered to fire two arrows at once to ensure your target comes to a swift and not none too pleasant halt. Okay. Just going to follow this path a little bit more. Can't, I still can't really see where I'm going, but it's fine. There's a lot of sand. A lot of dust in the air. But anyway. Oh my goodness, three. I don't think I've ever had to fight these enemies either because of climbing over the cliff face, which is a good advantage. But still. Let's do that. And I might go over here and eat some of that. Seems good. They're all everywhere. Freeze and goodbye. I'm gonna try and take a few of these duplex bows because they seem pretty good. Very nice. Just collecting everything from them. We seem to be fairly well prepared for this, surprisingly. So now that we've made it here. That is it for this episode. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.